Here's my event setup for figuring out how to make two of these Logitech Circle View doorbell units run on a single transformer and reusing my existing Chime box. Uh, there's a lot of discussion online as to whether this can work at all. The official word from Logitech is that it can't. And the questions I see online are about wiring and uh, transformer size and other things. So I thought I would just post this video to show how I made it work in my situation and maybe it'll be helpful to someone else. Um, I went ahead and put two meters uh, in line with the uh, transformer so that I could see the current that's being pulled out of the transformer as well as the system voltage. So that's what those are. And I moved to this larger transformer. This is one of the key uh, changes that I made to make the system work. This is a 16 volt 30 VA transformer and it replaced the uh, smaller one that I had in my wall, which was a 16 volt 10 VA transformer. And this one actually worked in the system that I'm showing here. However, it's a 16 volt nominal transformer and it got all the way down to eight volts when I was ringing both doorbells. So I didn't wanna you know, pull too much uh, power through the transformer and have it heat up or have other unexpected results. So I went ahead and just stepped up to a larger transformer and it handles it just fine. The wiring looks more complicated than it really is because of the meters being hooked up, but essentially one side of the transformer, these green wires, needs to connect to ports two on the chime controllers. And then the other side of the transformer is currently going through my meter and it comes out as these white wires. And these white wires then make their way from this side of the transformer down to the doorbell units themselves. And the wiring in my house is white and red, so I just kept it the same for simplicity. The red wires leave the doorbell units and go up to port three on each of these chime controllers. And here's where things got a little bit tricky. I found through trial and error that port four is the one that needed to be connected to the front or rear uh, terminals of, the, of this chime box. And then ports five on both chime controllers needed to be connected to the common or uh, transformer uh, terminal of the chime box. If you hook it up the other way with uh, port five connected to front or rear and ports four connected to uh, the transformer. What, what you'll find is that when you press uh, either button, both of these solenoids will, will fire and you won't hear um, a different sound for the front or rear uh, doorbell. It just has to do with which wire is actually being switched in these chime boxes. So with that, I can give a quick demo here. Starting off looking at these meters, the system idles at about 16.6 .6 volts, just under half an amp. So it's pulling somewhere between seven and a half, eight watts, uh, just at idle with both of these um, doorbells hooked up. And when I ring one doorbell, um, you will see that the solenoid will fire and the uh, voltage will drop a bit. So I'll go ahead and do that. And the voltage stays low for a bit. It goes down to here in this case, about 15.8 volts and 0.7 amps or so. And it'll hang out there for about 20 seconds and then it'll return uh, back to the idle state. I can also just go ahead and press both buttons in quick succession. So it fired both solenoids and the voltage drops even further, about 14.9, 15 volts and about 0.9 amps. And that's an unusual scenario where both doorbells are rung at the same time, but I did want to allow for that just in case. Uh, it happened and uh, again, it'll hang out there for about 20 seconds and then the system uh, returns to the typical idle um, requirement right around eight watts. I did also go ahead and just use one of these uh, wall mounted uh, meters and you can't see it very well, but what it's showing here is that the max wattage that was ever pulled was 19 and a half watts. And so that was almost certainly when I was ringing both doorbells at the same time. Uh, at the mains, it pulled 19.5 watts, but only for an instant uh, when both of these uh, solenoids were firing. So that's the system. That's how I made it work for myself. I'm going to put this back in the wall and mount everything at the individual doors. But hopefully this helps somebody who is looking to do the same thing with two Logitech Circle View doorbells um, to replace uh, the system they've got. Thanks for watching.